They are making a difference on 938 Live. The Panasonic Kid Witness News video competition, which has been running in Singapore for the past 11 years, saw 52 entries this year exploring the themes of environment and communications. The Spotlight Award for the Best Education Content went to CHIJ St. Teresa's Convent. The title of the video was The Things Parents Say and was about the abuse that some youths of today are facing on a daily basis. I spoke to two of the team members, the first of whom is the scriptwriter Vivian Pradhan. Deep. Now, I just want to find out then, because your whole film actually revolves around child abuse, I want to understand how your what was your first encounter with child abuse and its effects? Um, honestly, I have never personally en- encountered child abuse, but when I'm in public, I tend to observe my surroundings a lot, and usually children catch my attention because, like, you know, they're cute and their little antics actually catch me. And there are a lot of parents who are, act as friends to their children. But there are some who actually scream many vulgar words at them. So, like, when I see that, it's like, oh, my God. Mm. This is a form of child abuse. I have seen it before, like, in hawker centres, every sort of public area. And then, like, it does sadden me to see that the parents, there are such parents in this world, and they are, like, mean and snarky comments basically batter the child out of their comfort zone, and I can see nothing but fear and sadness in the child's eyes. Mm-hmm. There's a phrase like, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Mm-hmm. But really, that's not true. Because words can hurt a person, especially a child when it's coming from their own parents. So you, in reaction to what you can see in the real world when you're outside, you crafted this story, uh, especially about verbal abuse. Now, how did you go about this? Did you draw from what you actually saw and actually incorporated what you saw into the script? Yes, that that is true. I used from I drew from what I actually see, and also I did do my homework along with my teacher mentor, Mister Dill. Mm-hmm. I mean, like. We searched on forums for um, forms of verbal abuse that children hear from their own parents. We even watched some inspira- inspiring videos where, like, parents are scolding their children or, like, bringing down their self-esteem. I also spoke to actor and director from the film Carissa Chua. Hi, Carissa. So I understand you're both the director as well as the actor in the film. Now, you actually chose to do this film in black and white. Can I find yeah. out why? Black and white cons- consists of those dull colors that I actually can can actually mean that the par- what, whatever the parents have said, example, having hurtful words to them, can actually mm. drain out the color in the child's life. Want to understand how your peers, how your fellow students reacted to the film? We haven't shown our schoolmates the film yet because we didn't have the time. But like one of our friends, who one of our one of the directors, who was, who was Gina, she was at the award ceremony and she said that the audience was so silent and saddened throughout the video screening. So that actually shows how much the video has impacted on the audience and how. The video is actually so real that some of the audience may have actually experienced this kind of emotion. And that was Carissa Chua. And earlier on, you heard from Vivian Pradeep. They are part of the team that won the Spotlight Award for Best Education Content of the Panasonic Kid Witness News Video Competition. Tomorrow, we'll be talking to the team from the Clementi Town Secondary School who won the Top News Production Award. This has been They Are Making a Difference. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Daphne Lim. They are making a difference on 938 Live.